Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to view the moon data, but for a different location other than your current location. So I like to start my videos by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical. Shouldn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, the moon feature is going to be the same on all of them, so this video should help you out. Also, I'm not using the watch with any adjustments to the hotkeys, so it's basically as delivered from Garmin. Now if you've watched my videos in the past, I've shown you how you can uh, get the moon data as a data element on your screen, as well as how you can add the moon data as a widget in your widget wheel. Now, if you don't know how to do all of that stuff, go look at some of my more basic videos and they'll walk you through that. I've also shown you in the past, when you're on the moon phase widget, if you press GPS, you can navigate through by pressing up or down to different days, future or past to see the moon phase, moon rise, moon set, what the moon's gonna look like, that kind of information. Just looking at today, January 21st, the moon rises at 12.29 p.m. and the moon set is at 1.03 a.m. But what if I wanted to see the moon data for a different location other than my current location? Garmin delivers that feature and it's really easy. Uh, there's really not much to it other than you need to just be on the widget and press and hold the menu button over here. You'll notice that by default, your location is gonna be your current location. But if you select that by pressing GPS, you can choose a different location. You can either choose coordinates and enter any GPS coordinates that you have. You can click on save locations and see all of your waypoints and choose any one of those to view the information. Or, It'll give you a history of your previous locations that you've used, and you can choose one of those. So I'm gonna just go in, and I'm gonna choose, uh, let's see, I'm gonna choose a different one. I'm gonna choose camera number one. And you'll notice now, it's showing me the moon information for location Z, camera one. You'll also notice that the moon information has changed from my current location. The moon rise is gonna be at 12.34 p.m and the moon set is gonna be at 1.07 a.m. So I find this kind of beneficial. If you're somebody like me, I'm, I'm here at home, but I hunt and I hike and I camp at different locations. I wanna see the moon information for those locations versus my current location. This is how you would change that. And you can do the same thing. You can navigate through past days or future days. So maybe you're planning a camping trip or something and you wanna see the moon information at your camping site for a future date, this is how you would do it. And then once you're done, you're gonna press the back button and you can go back to your main screen. The one thing I'll mention is it never remembers that as your setting. So if we go back into our moon widget and look at the data, it's always gonna be using your current location. So if you want to change it, you have to go into the menu and change it each time. Once you've changed it, as long as you stay in the widget, it's going to use that location. But once you back out of it, it'll always reset you back to your current location by default. So I hope that makes sense. I find this to be a pretty, uh, pretty beneficial tool uh, for looking at information for a different location. As always, if you've got any questions, uh, post them in the comments. I'll try and help you out. Thanks for watching.